You're watching the Argos Home Shopping Channel. I'm Cy Thomas. Thank you very much for joining me here in the Argos Garden because we are talking all things garden. Uh, and in fact, with some brilliant, uh, brilliant bulbs here we've got for you. Look at these. A selection of 40 chameleon tulip bulbs. Yeah, the chameleon element's quite exciting here. Chameleons obviously change colour, so we're going to bring a splash of colour to your garden here with a fantastic price of $19.99 and free delivery. 196 5151 your blue catalogue number there uh, to quote when ordering and the phone number as ever 08456 40 50 50. Don't forget we've got free delivery on this at present now. And to talk me through this, I'm delighted to be joined uh, by our resident gardening expert, Ben. Ben, how are you? Very good, thank you. Not Brilliant. bad at all. Well, yeah. pleasure having you here uh, as always. Um, just quickly for viewers who maybe haven't seen you on the channel before, mm. can we have a little back, uh, overview of your background? Yes, of course. Um, I've always been into plants from a young boy, mm -hmm. had a little veg patch when I was young, Studied horticulture at university, worked yep. in a plant nursery all through um, school and university, growing perennials, and now I'm editing a magazine about growing fruit and veg. So great stuff, coursing well, through my veins. Brilliant, Poss possibly so green. You're things. the man in the know. <laughs> yes. It's a delight to have your expertise here. So uh, we're going to look at a number of different items uh, from Sutton Seeds here. And uh, first up, we've, we've touched on this already. Uh, mm. This is the chameleon tulips. And we talked about, well, I've mentioned it briefly there, what a chameleon is all about. It's about changing colour. Exactly, yeah. And this is why they've been dubbed that, because of the colour-changing capabilities of these wonderful That's tulips. That's right. It, it does sound a bit odd, doesn't it? But these yeah. really do change colour. Um, essentially, we've got four different varieties here, mm -hmm. so you're getting ten bulbs of each variety. Yeah. And um, to take this one here, this one is called Antoinette, mm -hmm. and it'll start at a sort of pale lime green with a bit of yellow, yeah. then it'll go pale yellow and then you'll get sort of streaks of pink coming through Lovely. and then it'll finish off salmon pink so wow. it's appropriately named because they they all change color yeah so, so colliders go different. through all these these colors there doesn't it yeah yeah so they um each of these different varieties will will sort of change colors in different ways great so it's kind of almost many more varieties for your your pounds yeah in a way, uh, it's quite, you know, i think different. it's quite exciting if yeah. you know obviously it's all about the colors with our flowers mm. in in our gardens and that's to actually have something that's going to change a little bit is uh, definitely mixing it up and making something yeah, a bit different. Yeah. yeah. So um, where would you plant these and what time of year would you be, be talking um, about these? Plant them from about end of October through to early December. Okay. And um, they're not too fussy, but they do like free draining soils. So okay. um, if your soil's quite heavy, quite mm. clay, then you dig in a bit of grit just to loosen it up or gotcha. you grow them in pots. Mm -hmm. um, you generally plant them so they're about four bulbs heights deep so maybe about sort of 20 centimeters okay, deep. yeah and um, you plant them maybe uh, sort of three to four inches apart mm -hmm. and the way I like to grow them is in big sort of drifts and clusters so yeah. you make a bit of an impact rather sure. than just one or two on their own yeah so and but you do get is it 40 of these in the, you in the do package, so you could right. definitely make an impact you on certainly those could there. yeah and they'd look great with spring uh, bedding plants as mm -hmm. well and, and other spring flowering bulbs mm -hmm. and um, because they're multi-headed which means yeah. from each uh, stem you get more than one flower they look great as cut flowers so you can bring oh, them in course. if you can bear to do that and yeah. uh, display them indoors so, lovely yeah. and, and how long does that sort of process from planting to actually flowering take they'll flower next spring so they'll be april may flowering so you plant them in november they sit quietly through the winter doing their business and then Lovely. start coming through in sort of february and flowering in about yeah. april or may and, and what kind of dimensions wise what kind of height do they grow to they grow to maybe 30 sort of about foot high about lovely that roughly so i imagine it's quite a spectacular yeah you know, they, site they, you've when you've got a, a whole you sort of may have um, seen the sort of tulip fields in, in mm, holland you've of great sort of splashes of color and, yeah. and these are probably the most colorful tulips of all so. lovely stuff and then when it comes to care on this yeah you know how long is it going to last us and, and well, how do we they we probably care? peter out maybe after four weeks mm -hmm. and then what you mustn't do is dig them out straight away let okay. the foliage die right back down yeah because that they like the solar panels recharging the, the battery oh, like. so let them die back down then lift them up clean the bulbs off store them in a cool dry place and then plant them again next november so Lovely that's stuff. the best way to keep them going mm. great stuff well great to look at those we've got some more stuff to come away shortly uh, i'll give you the details for these one uh ones on screen now uh 196 5151 it's a selection of 40 chameleon tulip bulbs so really bringing a splash of color to your gardens here 19.99 is the price don't forget free delivery on top of that as well not available in stores so do pick up the phone and give us a call 08456 40 50 50 or jump online to the website argos.co.uk 
forward slash TV. But we're staying in the garden, that's why Ben is uh, staying with us uh, too for this. We're talking about a selection of autumn flowering bulbs, now quite apt at this time of the year, obviously. 19.99, again the price and that free delivery, 196-5199, your blue catalogue number there. Uh, as ever, the phone number's on screen to give us a call if you like the look of these. So as I, I said there, Ben, this is something quite apt for this time of the year. Mm. The clue's in the title. We're talking autumn flowering mm. bulbs. So is this going to bring a bit of a colour uh, and, you know, something pretty to our gardens, even in the autumn? Right months. now, it is. Um, you think bulbs, you think spring colour, but um, what a lot of viewers may not realise is that a lot of um, flowers do actually bloom in the autumn from mm. bulbs, and, and these are they. So we've got two types of bulb here. We've got... Um, Cyclamen, which are these sort of nodding heads here. Oh, yeah. And then we've got autumn crocuses, which are like crocuses but bloom in the autumn. So, oh, right. uh, we've got three different varieties here. So, um, you've, you're getting six different types three mm -hmm. cyclamen and three autumn crocus, also known as colchicum. That's the Latin name for them. Lovely. Um, and what I love about cyclamen is mm -hmm. that they grow in shade. So, you can put them under a tree and it. Finding things to grow under a tree can be pretty tricky because it's shady, it's, not, it's pretty hostile to most plants. Yeah. But these will bloom away and they'll um, naturalise, which means they'll sort of divide and without your intervention and yeah. they'll just spread and oh, form lovely. a beautiful carpet. I guess, that, again, that's quite good if, it, if you've got a garden which is maybe doesn't get too much light or Absolutely, sunlight, it's quite yeah, shady anyway, so that, great that's to have right, that yeah. too. Um, so yeah, so we can see these. These are the bulbs here. Obviously, mm. there's, there's different sort of size and shapes here. Does that obviously that reflects into the different That's types right, of plants? That's right. Yes. So um, you can see this one here mm -hmm. is actually a uh, cyclamen, and you can see the little flowers already yeah. kind of. Um, so how does that relate to? Is this this one here on the? That's on the right. Yeah. These these here. Yeah. Now, with these and the well, with both these bulbs, you mm. can actually do a little display indoors in a shallow pan without soil, which sounds oh, a bit bizarre. You just line the bulbs up, maybe put some moss and create a nice little display yeah. with them. Make a perfect gift for, for someone. Sure. And then once they finish flowering, then you plant them out in the garden for next year. So you can almost get two different styles of use with them. So Great. And, and how long's the uh, sort of process for these to bloom again from planting? Um, well, if you're planting them now, they'll probably be blooming uh, next autumn. Yeah. But the ones, if you're doing them sort of just in the bowl, they should do something this autumn. Oh, so quite so quickly quite as well. Quickly, yeah, so. Brilliant stuff. And again, nice bit of variety here. Mm. I, again, we're getting you know that, that lovely selection there. So it's just a bit of variety once again right. the gardens. Yep. Great stuff. Thanks again there, Ben. Uh, the selection of autumn flowering bowls. Great way, you know, we've shown so much over the summer about enjoying join your outdoor spaces and now we're obviously uh, doing that again with gardening join a bit of colour in your garden something that's going to be quite pretty nice to look at and again I said about some variety here even for those autumn months when obviously normally having flowers outside is going to be quite tricky mm -hmm. uh, 1065199 the catalogue number again here 1999 is your price and give us a call 08456 40 50 50 uh, free delivery on this again I don't know how long that free deliv delivery is going to last for so I think it's well worth picking up the phone if this is something that interests you and uh, finally then uh, Ben over here uh, again we've got some wonderful uh, bulbs here mm. what's this we we've got now these are fritillaria which is mm -hmm. a bit of a mouthful but yeah. they're crown imperials is their is their common name gotcha. as you can see they're pretty chunky bulbs so yeah, they uh, are aren't they uh, which kind of um, is a foretaste of what's to come because yeah. uh, these are pretty chunky blooms. Um, you get two bulbs, mm -hmm. uh, four bulbs in total, two of each variety. Lovely. You get this beautiful sort of bronzed orange yeah, one nice, here and then this sort of citrus yellow here. So they're lovely how they sort of contrast with each other actually. That's right. Or complement each other. That, that's it and, and why they're called crown imperials is because they've effectively got a little crown of uh, Tough oh, yes. leaves at the top, so that's that's why they're quite. Uh, that's why they called that. Um, now these have got what's called an RHS Award of Garden mm -hmm. Merit, which essentially is like the Oscars of the plant world. It means they've oh, been trialled vigorously in the garden, and they're they're thought of as exceptional. Yeah. Um, now they grow to about maybe I don't know 90 centimetres. Oh, so a good height tall. on these so as a good well. Height, and they yeah. make a real impact. Probably the best thing about them is that they can cope with shade, mm -hmm. which again is a tricky place to find something to, to grow um, in those conditions, and, and these do fine there. Um, oh, this is um, the, the bulbs in the box to show you actually how oh, they so come Oh, this packaged. is what would come through so when you arrive. You can see yeah. it's kind of quite sturdily packed, because yeah, so they're, packaged, they're quite yeah. delicate bulbs, so you've got to yeah. handle them with care. Brilliant. Um, and when it comes to uh, planting them and sort of yeah. preparation for these, what's the sort of process there? What you've got to do... Um, 
because they're such big bulbs, they need to be planted quite deep. So yeah. maybe sort of that sort of deep. Okay. And now you see the crown, uh, which is where the leaves come from, is quite hollow. Uh -huh. If the water gets in there, it could rot. So uh -huh. bizarrely, you've got to plant them on their sides, which is oh, quite right. different to normal bulbs. But will they grow up they're, quite eventually? Exactly. They so they'll right right sort of write themselves up, and the roots will go the other way, and they'll be fine. But um, that's a nice, nice it, tip as a heads up. It seems there, a peculiar quirk of them, really. But yeah. uh, that's the only thing you've got to bear in mind. And again, with these. What's the sort of lifespan, and uh, you know, if you want to, them these to last will go on indefinitely. So oh, wow. they'll die back, and um, you know, come up again. Um, but they flower kind of May, June time. So yeah. it's a good way of getting a bit of colour uh, later on in the spring before the main thrust of the sure. summer flower. And, and what's the kind of general upkeep with these? It's quite straightforward. It is quite straightforward. Um, you'd maybe give them a bit of a feed as uh, the leaves are dying down, because mm -hmm. again, that supplies the bulbs with all the goodness and nutrients for next year. Yeah. And Really, it's it. That's it. It's quite straightforward. So. Lovely. So you're going to get these lovely sort of lovely citrus colours, as you said, yep. and that sort of orangey bronze colour yep. too. That's it's right. really nice. Again, so you that can sort have them in pots on the patio actually. If you've not got um, you know soil, yeah. you've just got a small courtyard garden. Yeah, or sort of maybe on a balcony or something that's like that. Right. We can get some soil in as well. Yep. Uh, great stuff, Ben. That's really delightful. Obviously, award-winning uh, bulbs here, as you can see, award-winning plants. Uh, it is the how do I pronounce it? Fritillaria. Fritillaria. <laughs> thank, thank goodness you're Fritillaria here. Fritillaria The Fritillaria uh, twin pack flower bulbs. Uh, great value, I think, at 19.99. So something's going to last you a long, long time as well. And, you know, indefinitely, as Ben was saying there. 196 5254. Free delivery again. Do pick up the phone and give us a call on that phone number 08456 40 50 50. 50. And Ben, real pleasure having you. Thanks Great, so much. It's been nice. It's been really nice uh, out Thank here you. in the garden and looking at this variety uh, of items from Sutton Seeds. So I look forward to the next time. Uh, but stay with us because, as ever, more fantastic items are coming your way on Argos TV. There'll be savings, there'll be Argos TV exclusive deals. And don't forget, you can find out any more info on the website argos.co.uk forward slash TV.